it's time to fuck up on your makeup. No, I, I'm just, I got, you know, I got things to do, so I, I, I better not do that in here, you know. Um, we're in a small area, and, you know. I throw a pump and, you know, right. boom! You know how you used to do it back in the day, but I was a nasty boy. I'm still nasty, you know trust me. Oh, I'm still nasty. Don't get it twisted. Hey, look, so he is back in the day right here. This Bobby back in the day. You know what we gonna be doing, right? <laughs> Sprinkle some seasoning on it. Sprinkle it down, baby. Sprinkle it down. Hey, you know what? Matter of fact, when you used to perform, Roni, uh -huh. didn't you get locked up for, for the, the yes, stuff that you were doing uh, on stage? Yeah, unfortunately, I did get locked That's up. Crazy. Um, I was the second person after Elvis to get locked up in that in, really? that, in that whole in that state, state of Georgia. Oh, you that know, was in um, Georgia. Yeah. Um, but it was it was it was harmless what what had happened. But right. they was like you know, they was really mad that I was pumping in front of you know Caucasian people um, at that time. You know, <laughs> she said pump. <laughs> See, I could do it now, you know, <laughs> and not get arrested in Georgia. But um, yeah, man, it was it was it was funny. I tried to sneak out in a. Um, in a box, but um, they busted me. You know, it was like, nope, he's in there. We know. Look, but then you turn around and did it in a video. Yeah, I did. I shot a video. You know, a few weeks later, and told him this is what I got arrested for. Right. So yeah, it was cool. Go up there, huh? <laughs> Bobby the Humper. The Humper. Bobby Brown on Up Close to Personal Heart and Soul, Serious XM. Yeah. <laughs> so you know when you left New Edition, man, what was what was the transition period? Did you, I mean I hear several different stories about why you left New Edition, but what's the real story? The real story of why I left New Edition was I wanted I just wanted to do different things. I wanted to do different types of music. I had been writing, you know, while I was with New Edition, you know, and. Um, I wanted to sing more lead vocals, you know. I wanted to be in the front a lot more. Yeah. And uh, the only way I could do that was to do my own stuff. So I went to Gerald Busby and Lil Silas at the time at MCA, and I told them, you know, I want to do my own thing. And um, I started recording some songs, and while we were still on tour with the audition, and by the time, you know, it came to um, them saying that, um, that I was really too nasty to be in the group because the group had this, you know, other image that I was, you know, violating. And um, I was like, cool. Um, so, and they kicked me out. And basically I was like, you know, cool. I went home for a while and then flew out to Los Angeles and did my King of Stage album and basically just went from there. But how, how does a group kick out somebody that really kind of founded the group? How does um. That well, we went by majority, majority, you know, the majority of the group said, you know, three of them said, out. Ralph was like, nah, nah. So Ralph was the only one that was, you know, really like, nah, B, you, don't, you ain't got to leave now. So when I left, Ralph was like, nigga, I'm about to go too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm about to leave too. This is just, uh, uh You ain't going to leave me here with these crazy <laughs> But I, I think everybody um, should be thankful that um, it happened. I am thankful that it happened. Yeah, that I was way. about to say it. Because, you know, you. I wouldn't have never done, you know, Don't Be Cruel. I wouldn't have never yeah, done yeah. King of Stage. I wouldn't have never done Bobby Album Forever, you know, Masterpiece. I wouldn't have never, never done any of those, you know, so I'm, I'm really thankful. So even when you stepped away, I know you, you had this thing where you wanted to be who you are, uh -huh. but did you have any idea that you would become such a pop icon? Right. No, no. I was. I, I just wanted to make good music. I wanted to make music that um, could appeal to the masses, you know, yeah. and um, the way I saw music going, where when I saw rap coming in to the game, I was like, oh no, this popcorn stuff is about to be out. Yeah. So I was, I, was, I was going with the times at the time, you know, um, Working with you know different different producers and writers and 
like Face and Teddy Riley, um, L.A., um, you know, just working with different individuals and, 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 and molding my craft, molding my sound on, on how I wanted to want it to be. So, so did, was it your decision with who you was going to work with on, on Don't Be Cruel album? Or? Yeah, yeah. I had heard um, a lot a lot of songs from from L.A. and Babyface, and I was just like, yeah, those are the cats that uh, I could build this album around. And then when I when when I talked to Teddy, when me and Teddy got into that, that we was in the projects in Harlem, and, you know, we did the vocal in the bathroom, you, you know, we did the track in the living room. And it was just little small, small hot ass place, you know, in the projects. And it was just, it was, you know, me, Aaron Hall, and you know, just, just banging things out, banging music out. And then when Prerogative came, you know, when we wrote Prerogative, it was just, it was a rap. We knew, we knew that was what we was gonna. That's what was gonna make the album. That was gonna, that was my image. That was my stamp on it. Oh yeah, you put that thing together, bro. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. I made this money. You didn't, right? <laughs> <laughs> we out of here. <laughs> All right, Bobby Brown on Heart and Soul up close and personal. Y'all go give us another one, bro. Try to relate. There's gotta be a way for me to escape off this mindset. I've got to. What I wanna do, cause it's what is my prerogative. People always tripping about the things I say, but I'm living for the future. Doing things my way, so why does the world just keep on talking me? I have to leave them all behind, cause there's gotta be a way for me to escape. All this nonsense, I've got to I've got to move I've got to get away, yeah Oh, 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 hey, hey, hey Yo, check the crew, please keep the road real smooth We double SS for success, it's just need need a move Hit him with the fin and let the rhythm snatch ya as I release another round back to jams and slam in the pants up so scram Look at grandma understand who I am Damn by the way can I please get this dance That's not free dance cause I'm just getting started Believe me that was nothing but a brown party That's going on it got it going on Bobby Brown's rated number one so far on Thank you. 
I was like, I almost blanked out. You may cut a step on that. Yeah, I was about to jump on the speaker. And, you know, <laughs> yeah, you about to body right surf in the crowd, you know. <laughs> I guarantee you step on the scale, you're going to be like five pounds lighter. Yeah, yeah. I hope. I wish. That boy got fluid. I am trying. <laughs> you got fluid coming out your oh, head. Oh, man. Come on, look, man. You look buttery, bro. <laughs> He said I look butter. <laughs> oh man, yeah, Bobby that's fine. That's fine. Hey, so so, have you done everything that you desire to do, or is there more? Oh, there's so much more. There's this is the beginning. You know, um, I feel you know, you don't you don't I, you don't get started until after 45 in life. You know, and I just passed 45. You know, right. So it's just beginning for me. Um, I'm working with my sons. They're doing their music. I got Paul Campbell, whose single was just released. Um, and it's just so much, so much more. I got a guy named Frank Stickums that's about to come out on the label, B. Brown Productions. Um, that is going to amaze everybody. One of the best rappers I've ever, ever been witness to. And um, that's kind of hard. That's, 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 that's a hard thing to say because I love so many other rappers. And I know so many of them, but this cat, this cat <laughs> is an animal. Frank Stickum. Frank Stickum. Where he from? He's out of Oakland. Okay. Yeah. And then you got Paul Campbell here. Paul yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So where, where you find them talent from? <clears throat> well, um, I try to, you know, because a lot of people try to give me tapes, and I don't, I don't like taking tapes. So if you know if you're talented, you'll be able to just walk up and and and, and show me your talent, right. you know. So for the most part, you know, I found I found these guys. You know, they came and auditioned for um, Heads of State, okay. and um, at the time, they they, they both was fired. Um, <laughs> well, Johnny was Just like, no, 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 it's not good. No, I don't like them. I was like, dude, these boys can blow. They can bubble. He, he didn't like me. <laughs> but in the same breath, you know, they left the building, and I saw them when I was coming in, and I was like, dude, and I heard them sing, and I was like, uh-uh, got to get these boys back. So they came out, you know, on a, on, a, on a tour with us for a little while, and then um, they started, you know, performing with me as when I did my solo stuff, and um, I decided, why not, you know, let's go in the studio. They both write, they both play, oh, wow. and, um, you know, they went in there and banged out a, a banging album and I was just like let's put it out so you know the PC project has begun wow so let me let me ask them like what kind of what kind of feeling does it give you to be with an icon performing I mean for me man I mean growing up just watching New Edition watching Bobby and then you know the first concert I ever went to was my mom took me was a New Edition concert yeah. and then for years later to be working with him it's just like God already lined it all the way up, man. So I'm just blessed just to be in the presence of, of greatness. Do you get nervous when you perform with him? All like the time. You, you <laughs> <laughs> all the time. If anybody tell you they ain't nervous, man, then they, they lying, man. It's, it's always a nervous thing because we want to do well for y'all. Right, yeah. right. It's so surreal, man. Every time is like the first time, our energy, you know what I'm saying? That's like our big brother, like our friend, you know what I mean? So uh -huh. it, it, it shows on the stage and in our craft. and. We do R&B music, so what better way to come in the door through the king? You know what I mean? So all oh, say why the king? Don't get it twisted. Oh, somebody say who? <laughs> somebody say what? <laughs> <laughs> the oh king. man, yes, saw oh, the king of R&B. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. What, what you think about that title, bro? When they um, you know, there's a lot of kings of different different place and genres. You know, um. In my lane, I, I, I would not advise anybody to go on stage after me. All right. Yeah. That is simple as that. I feel you. I feel you. Bobby Brown said it. Yeah. <laughs> he said it. Listen to him. <laughs> go ahead and give us another song, bro. Y'all give it up for Bobby Brown. And Hart yeah. I think it's time to fuck up on Omega. Grab your hair and tear it up the t-shirt Go slow it down Ain't gonna let up Shoulders down 